Actually, this is about um, a two week uh, before our release candidate one build. So, so this one's a, a little bit older system. is isn't exactly what you're gonna see uh, when it ships. Uh, some of the icons will change, the backdrop will change. A couple of small changes, but uh, all the applications and things are um, as they will be for the launch. One of the things that we have is we got the modern uh, GNOME desktop. Uh, so we got the, the Avant uh, window manager. So it kind of gives you that, that cute little bouncy icon thing. Uh, I am running Compass, so you can, um, you know, do things like uh, go between various windows. Yeah. Some of the uh, wobbly window stuff working, so you can. Uh, it has all the 3D accelerated effects uh, that that work with the uh, graphics. Card. One of the things that um, we have is we got some cool stuff that are coming from other communities. So one of the things I'd like to show off here is Songbird. Right, Songbird is a uh, is a great. Um, uh, a music client uh, and it's integrated with a web and you can, so you can do all sorts of cool things with it um, and everything works yeah. pretty easily and that's available in our repository and anybody can download it for free so that's pretty cool it doesn't come with the uh, back in black album though it exactly. does no no that that I had to I got that from my personal collection <laughs> so unfortunately it doesn't come with that and the other things is that we have um, we got Firefox 3, and, and because of our relationship with Adobe, we actually have uh, you know Flash. Everything pretty much works out of here. We got the, all the Java plugins work. We have Flash, um, and so you have the ability to you know make sure that you can you can play addictinggames.com or any other kinds of Flash sites that you know are interesting. So I, I'm particularly good at this one sometimes. <laughs> but, all right, so there, that gives you a little flavor for the fact that we have uh, uh, Firefox and Flash. Right? One of the other um, uh, things is that ZFS in the past has been rather difficult to use because um, we haven't had a, a way of uh, showing off the technology easily to developers and deployers. So one of the things that we have today is uh, Time Slider. Now what Time Slider does is that it gives you the ability to... Um, look at your files back in time. So we'll take these automatic ZFS snapshots of your system. You can set it up to bound the amount of space that you have on your uh, hard drive that you'll use for these snapshots. Um, you can do them like every 15 minutes, every day, every week, every month, whatever you want to choose. Um, and then what you can do is you can automatically go back in time uh, to, um, to look at various uh, changes. Hey. Cute example, I have this um, pumpkin picture. Right. And um, we have here is the, the picture that was on my desktop today is uh, us getting ready to carve an open Solaris pumpkin. Um, but what I wish I had was uh, what it looked like, the, what I had in the last picture, which was the final carved pumpkin. And I accidentally deleted that because I overwrote this with the same file name. Um, so if I kind of go back in time here a few days, and check it out, you'll see that um, all of a sudden the picture here changed. A lot of the other stuff is, all right. is different. You'll notice I have a different Open Solaris uh, presentation on here that that I had from a, a, a while back. And, right, and then there's, there's and then a previously there's your, overwritten file. So that's a, a, a nice way of uh, showing off the ZFS technology. Um, and and is, is, uh, it, Time Slider is in, is in a, a GUI sort of layering on top of ZFS, of course. It's yep. just a way of, of looking through all of that yeah. stuff that you have. Yep. And I, exactly. I guess the way you use it is, is basically in in the, the window that we're looking at here, for example, you go to the directory that you're interested in looking at and you can mm -hmm. slide through the files in that directory. Yep, exactly. The other way that we're utilizing ZFS is to make sure that when you're updating your system, um, that we give you protection against uh, getting maybe some packages that you didn't necessarily want on, on your system. So right. you download things, the first thing that we do is when you're running the package manager, uh, it'll take a snapshot. Uh, you go get your, your new packages that you wanted to add. All of a sudden it screws up your system. Uh, you can just automatically roll back to the last working version, which is really right. cool. So basically you can experiment without fear. Right, and you don't have to worry about uh, sort of proactively backing up that stuff on your own or, or right. more importantly, figuring out how to uninstall something. You right, yeah. You yeah. can just skip that process. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just back up one, and then you're all set. Back to where Great. you were. Great. Well, uh, well, thanks for uh, showing these, showing us these new features. That that 
I mean, what with the the UI stuff, I, wobbly windows is always exciting. <laughs> but it, but it's it's also always nice to see like you know very practical things like right. like the backing up that happens because no one's ever yeah no one ever likes to floss and so it's nice to automate that for them as yeah. far as like doing backing up and things like that. So that's fantastic. Thanks for spending the time to show that to us. All right, you bet. Thank you.